Good afternoon. Thank you for your patience. Um, the Secretary General will uh, brief you. NATO allies made clear that they stand firm in their support for Ukraine's sovereignty and territorial integrity. Allies do not recognize Russia's illegal annexation of uh, Crimea. We stressed that the increase in ceasefire violations in eastern Ukraine in recent days is deeply disturbing, as are uh, the recent incidents targeting OSCE monitors. Mr. Uh, Mr. Secretary General, could you please comment? Uh, this meeting was much more longer than you planned before. Why? NATO and Russia have profound and persistent disagreements. Today's meeting did not change that. NATO allies remain firm that there can be no return to practical cooperation until Russia returns to the respect of international law. But we will keep channels of communication open. How do you believe the Minsk process can move forward when uh, there are such disagreements? What steps would you like to see be taken? During the meeting, uh, it was uh, reconfirmed that we disagree, uh, both when it comes to the facts, the narratives, uh, and, uh, the the, and the responsibilities for the crisis uh, uh, in and around uh, Ukraine. Uh, and. Uh, um, many allies also convey the very strong message that we uh, disagree when Russia tried to portray this as a civil war. But we agreed on the importance of full and rapid implementation of the Minsk agreements, meaning uh, respecting the ceasefire, withdrawal of heavy weapons, and also, of course, uh, full access for the international monitors. Uh, to monitor the situation on the ground. Is it fair to say that today's meeting did not uh, lead to an improvement in relations between NATO? The NATO-Russia Council was never suspended. So I expect that we are going to meet again. Uh, we didn't decide uh, on any schedule for a next meeting. But since we never suspended the Council, I expect that we will uh, meet again. What can be answer of NATO of the past if it will be more incidents like recently? We have suspended practical cooperation uh, between NATO and, uh, and uh, Russia. Uh, but we decided uh, that we will keep channels for political dialogue uh, open. And that's exactly what we have uh, proven today, that we are able to sit down, talk, exchange views, and... Uh, uh, because we disagree and because there are difficulties, I found it uh, even more important that we sit down and meet in meetings like uh, the meeting we had today uh, in the NATO-Russia uh, uh, Council. Thank you very much. Thanks. Thank you.